Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new LP. <clears throat> so, what is this brand new LP? You shall see. Or you could just read the title, you know. Whatever. Anyways, this is a g game made by uh, Treasure. I really like this company. Uh, they made games like Gunstar Heroes, Alien Soldier. They make some great games. I'll explain more on that later. Just really good company. Anyways, we're gonna watch an intro and then we'll begin. So there you go, Silhouette Mirage. It's what we're gonna play. Silhouette Mirage! Turn that down a bit. Alright, let's start a new game. <clears throat> this game has some decently long loading screens. And they have a lot of them, because there's a whole bunch of little sections of the, of the game. They give you a lot of times to save. This game plays out kind of like an arcade game, because you have a set amount of continues. And if you run out of them, then you're pretty much done, you have to start the game over. <sighs> Anyways. Basically, our name is Shina, we're the messenger of justice, and we're supposed to, uh, protect the Edo supercomputer, or whatever it is. So, basically... Yeah. There you go. So we got practice mode, which is basically just the tutorial to show you how to do each and every move in the game. Or I can just tell you how to do it as we go along in the game. So basically, um, the world is kind of post-apocalyptic. It wouldn't seem that way, but basically everybody is all mutated. Um, there's two different kinds of people, silhouettes and mirages, and um, it's basically like a light dark thing. We're, uh, we're a certain kind of thing that has two polarities at once. When we face uh, to the right, then we have uh, mirage polarity. When we face to the left, we have silhouette par polarity. Did I say parody? Whatever. Don't worry about it, I'll probably end up saying that a whole lot more. <laughs> so, let's get started. Gameplay is a little bit weird. The thing about um, treasure games is they always like to... Oh, let's do that. They always like to put little twists on their games. Like, they'll have one of those genres that a lot of games are for, and then they just put something in to make it unique. This is one of those cases. This is actually kind of one of the inspirations for another game by Treasure called Ikaruga. Which is really hard unless you buy it on or really hard to find unless you buy it online. These are mirages, they are the light 
creatures of the world. And once we start gameplay, I'll kind of just tell you how the basic combat goes. How it goes. What goes with the combat? Fine wine and cheese. So we got all these gigantic death rays raining down from the skies. It's beautiful. I love giant death rays. Oh, crap. This game gets very flashy, as you could tell from the intro. Like, these explosions and that sort of thing, they can cause some lag. Like, right there, it just had a huge slowdown and speed up. Um, debut tries to keep the frames per second balanced, but there's gonna be some weird stuff. So, to destroy them, use the silhouette shot, or you can bounce their shots back with a reflector blast of the same attribute. You can also shoot them with the same attribute, like right here, this is our mirage attribute, and this is our silhouette attribute. This will damage them, this will just drain their uh, spirit power. Spirit power is what allows them to use their certain attacks. They still have attacks that are just normal attacks. There's basically silhouette attacks, um... Normal or mirage attacks and then normal attacks. You're going to hear a whole lot of that. So you can also grab them um, and beat the pulp out of them to get money. Oops. They will be break free though. But, anyways, yeah. Let's show off the reflector. That just turns it into a normal attack and shoots it back at them. Um, overall, it's pretty simple stuff. You can throw them in different directions by uh, pressing in one direction and pressing the grab button again. God, I'm getting some weird lag. Throw them up in the air, that sort of thing. Or you can grab and use them as a human shield, I'm pretty sure. You can press L2 and R2 to do an alley thing. Do a flip over them, in case you're on the wrong side of them and you want to use a certain polarity attack. Um, what else do we have? Uh, this is gonna waste some ammo, but you can do this, and it changes your your polarity. So now we have silhouette in the front and mirage in the back. Sorry, this is kind of wasting time and that sort of thing. And then if we just use it normally, we can also um use special attacks, like so. We're gonna face this way so it damages them. And that's what that is. It's just a special attack. So right now we've wasted a whole lot of ammo. As you can see, the bottom bar is our spirit power or ammo. It makes our shots more powerful. If it's low, then as you can see, we shoot slower or it's weaker. Even our reflector is weaker. Um, and then on top is the health. It changes purple and red depending on which polarity you're at. So that can help you tell for bosses as well as yourself. Like when their health bars are up. Whatever uh, attribute they have. It'll be purple or red. And then on top of both of those is just money amounts. So pretty basic stuff. Well, not really basic, but still. You get the idea, don't you? Don't ya? Alright, you can also duck and do this. And that'll allow you to do a dodge attack, or dash attack. You can also do the same thing if you're standing, but it won't do any damage. It'll just kind of make you flap your hat wings. Here's a shopkeeper. He's who gives us the parasites. Parasites are our weapons right now. We have the basic guy, Sarosa. We're going to stick with him for the entire game. Sorry if I'm talking fast, I'm just... It takes a while to explain all this crap. So there are all these different different or different kinds of parasites. This one dude has a boomerang attack. This guy has exploding shots. Poison gas, which sucks. Don't use this. Laser beam drains your health, but it's very good for damage. Uh, I don't know what this does, but sounds good. And this is homing shots, which are always good. Then you can buy these little triangle things, which restore your health. And these little circle things, which restore your ammo. 
which we should actually buy, because, you know, we wasted a whole lot of that. So that's good. You get the idea. can also sell parasites, but they don't sell for a whole lot, so you get the idea. Anyways, that's basic stuff about the game. Next time, we will start with some more stuff, and you shall enjoy! So thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.